The ESC General Cardiology Training Program is a comprehensive four-year online program based on the ESC practice guidelines and the ESC textbook of cardiovascular medicine. It focuses on knowledge, skills and professional development. This video is a short introduction on how to access and use the training program. To access the program as a trainee, you must first log into the ESC EL platform using My ESC Credentials. Then click on the area of study that you require, which is General Cardiology. Two access options will be available and you'll need to click on Enroll next to the ESC General Cardiology Training Programme. An introductory screen explains what the training programme is and which countries are engaged in this programme. After reading this, click Enrol and you'll be taken to the Enrol form page. A series of drop-down boxes will allow you to select your country, city and institution. You'll then select a local trainer who will be available throughout the four-year training programme. You must select your National Cardiology Society and agree to the privacy policies before progressing by clicking Validate. Once your online enrolment for the programme has been validated or approved by the National Society Administrator for your country, you'll receive a confirmation notification and you can start the programme. How to use the system? Once you've logged into the ESC eLearning platform, you'll be taken to the home page. Here you'll be able to see the latest general cardiology news, as well as the ESC programmes available for you to access. You can access learning programmes directly from the home page. From here you'll be able to choose to access any of the three learning tabs related to the learning material, which are knowledge, skills or professional development. Let's look at these three sections in detail. The knowledge section. Clicking on the knowledge tab will bring you to a list of the available courses in the programme. There are currently over 260 courses available for you to complete across 27 topics. The online courses can be started at any time and randomly at your convenience. There is no predefined order of completion needed within the four-year long training period. The system will track and display your performance as you progress through the learning courses. Selecting a topic will take you to a list of the courses within that topic. Selecting one of these courses will bring you to a launch page. Clicking on the Launch Course button will open a new window in which you must click Launch Course again on the course you wish to access, for example 1.1. This will open the course in your browser where you'll be able to progress through and complete the learning. The main course content is shown in the central panel and there is a navigation panel on the left to help you track your progress. Click Next to start and continue through the course. Each course has Test Yourself sections which you must pass successfully in order to complete it. You may retake the tests as many times as you need. At the end of each course, close the browser to return to the course menu. When you have finished all courses within a topic, that topic will be marked as completed. Further instructions are available by clicking on the Help button on the top right-hand side of the screen. This provides information on the course. The Skills section. The Skills tab on the Content Overview screen contains links to your case logbooks, procedure logbooks and patient safety logbooks. Here you can upload and keep track of your cases, procedures and complications to be evaluated and graded by your local trainer directly online. This online evaluation by your local trainer is exclusive to the training programme and is a real advantage that you'll benefit from as you continue to develop your cardiology skills. By clicking on Case Logbooks, you'll be taken to a list of topics in the programme. To add a logbook to a topic, all you need to do is click on the topic name and then click on Add New Entry. When you click on the Procedure Logbooks link in the Skills tab, you'll be taken to a similar list of topics in a slightly different format. Here you'll be able to upload new procedures to your logbook by clicking the Add Procedure button and filling in the correct information to track your procedure. Finally, when you click on the Patient Safety option in the Skills tab, you'll be taken to a new page listing each topic. Here, you'll be able to add complications in patients you work with, which are relevant to your progression, and then submit them for evaluation and grading with your local trainer. The Professional Development section. 
The third tab on the Content Overview screen is Professional Development. Clicking on Overview will take you to an explanation of your professional development throughout your progression with general cardiology. Completion of the professional development section is a requirement for all trainees. In addition to your qualifications and clinical experience, it's also important to address other aspects of your continued professional development, including publications, teaching and research. The professional profile component contains five categories for you to self-report activities related to your professional career and training. For networking purposes, you can share all your recorded professional activities by exporting the files in different formats or by sharing them via a URL link. By clicking on 360 degree appraisal in the Professional Development tab, you'll be taken to your appraisal screen. This appraisal is not compulsory, so you're free to opt in or out. Should you opt for the 360 degree appraisal, you'll need to ask a colleague to perform an appraisal of your progress at the preliminary, midterm, and final stages of your progression. Instructions on this component of your professional development can be found at the bottom of the screen. To send a request for an appraisal, simply click on the Send Request button at the bottom of the 360 degree appraisal page. On the request page, you will need to input the name and email address of the colleague that you want to appraise your profile, as well as a short message explaining to him that you would like him to appraise you at this point in your progression. Upon successful completion of the programme, you'll be awarded a certificate of completion from your National Cardiac Society. This concludes our in-depth explanation of the ESC General Cardiology Training Programme. If there are any areas of the system you are unsure of, don't hesitate to contact one of our team who will be happy to help with your inquiries. If you have not already signed up for this exciting learning experience, you can find out more and sign up now at learn.scardio.org.